Lucky Thumb, welcome back to Let's Play No Man's Sky. We're just on the way back to the space station in our Korvac system. We're going to get one more reputation game. So hopefully we've got a nice, uh, nice swift mission waiting for us at the uh, mission's board. We'll see. So we know it has to be an actual Korvax faction mission. It can't be for the Explorers Guild, even though they seem to be the Korvax like, faction guild. It has to be the actual Korvax faction itself. So we'll have to take what we can get, but uh, whatever it is shouldn't be too difficult. So let's see what we get when we arrive. Alright, hello sir. Yeah, yeah. Now let's look through the missions then. So, um, hot goods, deliver an item. Well, I guess that's the one for us. Last time we had to do this it was just... Um, See, the galaxy is home to a large and varied web of regulations. Seemingly innocuous items in one system can be highly illegal elsewhere. Such differentiation creates commercial opportunities. The client wishes such an item delivered, with few questions asked and little attention drawn. The courier will be supplied with one defence chit in case of pirate attack. Uh, oh. Yeah, I accept this one then. Bromide salt. And where are we taking it to? Uh, target is in another system, so we're going to have to make up some warp fuel. Let's see, we've got electron vapor. Make our antimatter. Gonna need just a little bit of thamium to make the uh, warp cell. That's fine. Yeah, one warp cell into the hyperdrive, and let's consult the galaxy map. Is it X? No. Well, it could be, but M's quicker. So we're delivering the goods. To, oh, the next system over. Five light years away. I hope this doesn't give me Gek Rep. Well, there is a mission for the Corvax, so hopefully it should give me Corvax Rep. Okay, one load of Bromide Salt, dropping off. Now let's hope that I can actually complete the Artemis quest to. There we are. Um, what I need to do is hand over the item, deliver the item. Right, uh, now I've got to return. Oh, God, I've got to return to the mission agent who's in. Actually, no, there's a mission agent in this system, isn't there? Let's see how this works, because I did specifically have a quest to get four Corvax rep ups, which kind of leads me to believe that I'm supposed to be consulting a Corvax about the star charts after I've completed them. Well, let's find out. Yep, yeah, so I want to hand in. Ivomic gels. The Gek is keen to offer me missions. Uh, I don't want one right now. Okay, alone amidst the stars. Oh, Got to go into space. First, let's sell this omic gel. Uh, we'll hang on to the defense chip. Maybe we'll try that next time we get pirate attacked. Fabric gel, sell for 20 grand. Clear some space on the ship as well. Okay. Right, so we're going to need a 
another warp cell. We've got some suspension fluid. We've probably got a load of electron vapor back on the back at base, but it's easier to just do this. Right, so we're going to need more thamium. That should be a hundred. There we are. Warp cell. So, where are we going? Where's my target? Target life form, here we are. Which mean hyper oh hyper I haven't put the Cell in the hyperdrive. That's the one. See if we can get through this battle unscathed. We just want to go straight to the sh to the um, space station. Right then, look at these star charts. Tell me if you can uh, you can figure out where I am. As I approach the life form, the lights in its shell casing begin to brighten and constrict, chattering noises issuing forth. They hold out a scanner. It is unclear if Artemis's translator is working. Ask for information. The life form's chattering ends. They stare at me with disappointment. The life form's shell casing begins to dilate and flicker. They attempt to scan my scanner, but it is clear that my tool interferes with its own. Persist. The life form grows increasingly irritated. The life form's chattering ends. They stare at me with disappointment. Scan the Corvax. The life form's shell casing begins to dilate and flicker. They attempt to scan my scanner, but it is clear that my tool interferes with its own. I allow the life form to scan me. They create a three dimensional cross section of body, exosuit, and skin, organs all included, refining the model through occasional projections. Eventually, it is complete. This, this data is invaluable to Corvax convergence. Thank you, Traveller. I will, of course, assist you. Give the star chart. I ask the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis's location. Location does not exist, traveller. <laughs> Nothing is more tragic than a corrupted piece of code. Um, the Corvax seems momentarily confused, as if the concept they could have made a mistake has never even been considered. They claim their systems are infallible, superior to the judgment of any organic life form. I apologize and leave. What's my objective now? Turn to space and make contact with Artemis. Right. Bad news. There you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars do not exist. That's impossible. I can't have travelled that far from charted space. You found my ship. How did you get there? As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out in... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... 
It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. They're coming for me. I can see them, smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal, Traveller, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now, I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I... I was so wrong. I... I can see their faces. There are seeds of glass within their... They're gone. My data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travellers. I didn't... to be alone anymore. Sixteen... Warn your face. It... Please, not yet. I'm not... The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my Hollow Terminus contacts. Fascinating. Right, we've got to find another Hollow Terminus. I can't believe it, we've come back to the same place again. God's sake. I suppose it makes sense. We were... You know, it did send us back to the system where we got the original quest. Hopefully it'll start sending us to different systems. This can't be the only hollow terminus in the universe. Right, let's contact Apollo. Tune to Apollo. Wow. The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. Greet Apollo. Identify yourself, or I end this call. Say you're a friend of Artemis. No, you're not. Ask why. Why do you use that word at all, friend? It is just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care if some dream says we're travellers. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable contract time. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble. That they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant, uncharted world, disappearing from the Hollow Terminus network. Apollo's demeanour changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted, inverted. The Viking will pay handsomely if we figure out how the Sentinels appear so quickly. And this recording of yours, the portals, perhaps they're the key. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? Sure. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there, not yet at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants in space stations to get the blueprints you need. As the hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly, as if sighing, saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing, a ghost in the machine. Oh Jesus Christ, okay we've got to get back to the fucking ship. Can that please be the last time I have to visit this planet? I don't even have any fuel in the launch. Well, I've got plenty of plutonium, it's fine.
Right, we're going to have to make another jump, aren't we? Uh, so, oh, there's one. I think I've got one more bit of electron vapour. Uh, not electron vapour, suspension fluid, though. So we can make a vapour, make an antimatter. And we've got to get even more thamium. We've made a lot of jumps this episode. Okay, one warp cell. Oh, god damn it. Gotta put the cell in the hyperdrive. Keep forgetting that. This is very definitely the uh, the kind of new player experience quest. Music is incredibly dramatic. Um, it's taken me through basically all of the different things we can do in the game. Maybe it's going to even tell me to build a new base. Sure. Something about fighting the Sentinels. Yeah. Um, the Viking is clear is keen to show me uh, their new stock, a powerful modification modification for my multi-tool. Okay. Oh, terrain manipulator. Advanced terraforming device. Uh, okay. Wait, is that the quest? Do I have to build... I don't really want the terrain manipulator. Is that what I have to do for the uh, the quest for Apollo? Oh, where's my log? Visit a multi-tool technology trader. Right, um... The warrior offers me blueprints for weapon upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. Okay. Blaze javelin. It's too expensive for me, but yeah, I need more nanite clusters. Don't even have a scatter blaster. More nanites. Okay, well, I've, I've visited one. We better have to buy something from him. Let's just get um, some random shit. I don't know. Right, that's completely useless to me because I don't actually have a blaze javelin. But let's see what Apollo wants me to do next. We've got a pretty decent weapon. Right, communicator. You are not alone. I know you, traveller. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There is no need to hurry. You will find us when the time is right. Okay. Um... Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Yeah, I'm ready, I guess. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. A synthetics delight in espionage. Polite cough. I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were. But this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to this shell. This is who I am. I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. So he's a cyborg. 
I like I like the way he's designed with the little uh, the little scarf and the robotic body. So, start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a Corvax factory? They're both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminals within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Please don't send me back to Radioactive Planet again. No, okay, it's a different planet. Thank God. Right, let's go and have a look at this facility then. Right, what have we got? Where there is direct sunlight. Regular sentinels, abundant flora, moderate fauna. So it is kind of warm, but not too warm. Okay, well, uh, let's tag the waypoint. Oh, look at this. Maybe we'll get some fuel. Electron vapor. And electron vapor. Well, it's better than nothing. Is this anything? Just iron, isn't it? Oh well, never mind. So, we're going to see where the Sentinels are arriving on this planet from if they're coming through the portals. Well, there's one. Definitely. Right, perform critical maintenance. Oh god, it needs carbon, iridium, it needs iron. Okay, iridium, platinum, iron, and carbon, which we've already got. Okay, we've got to go scouting for some resources then. Platinum might be the truth. Oh no, there's some platinum right there. There's a thamium plant there as well, I'm going to nab that. I'm also going to scan these guys. That analysis visor upgrade is amazing. Grab a bunch of that for my own use as well as repairing that console. Uh, right. Let's just head back and see how we're doing. Possibly going to need some more platinum. Uh, definitely need more iron. Yeah, a little bit more platinum. Can repair the security alarm. Right, so a bit of iron and a bit of platinum. Well, let's walk uh, this way, I guess. We've got to walk along the surface because we're looking for platinum flowers. So I'm going to need to use the um, on-foot scanner to detect them. Might as well head towards that question mark over there. The 17k. There's some platinum. That should be all of it, actually. Got at least 100 iron in inventory yet. Yep, we have. Okay. Good, we're all set. 
Right, we should have everything we need now. So repair the boiler. Repair the output screen. The terminal's data is useless. The Corvax within left this world many days ago. Apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species flotilla. Something has them worried. This place seemed to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. Examine the video feeds. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light on it. I shine a light upon it. It is a small, hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die, no matter what intervention occurs. Euthanize it. As the creature looks mournfully up at me, I fire a single charge of my multi-tool. It shivers no more. Its suffering is at an end. I move on from the factory complex. Wow, I uh, just euthanized a mouse. Retro. Well, it's only sentinels. You can still take them on, no trouble. Get ourselves a bunch of titanium and some nanites. Right, what's our objective now? Uh, return to space and communicate with Apollo once again. Let's see if you found any transmissions, any uh, energy spikes. Hello. Good work. Your attack on that factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? Not really. No matter. We have what we need. I recorded countless signal flares when the sentinels started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. Any communication? Right, what's our objective now? Uh, crack the portal code. Apollo has uh, traced the sentinel signal to a location on a nearby world. To follow and investigate the signal. Coordinates received. Ley line link. Ley line link detected. Okay, uh, well, that's about an hour, so we'll check out the ley lines next time. Uh, is it on a different planet? Yeah, it is. It's on that one over there. Or is it? No, it's off, it's off planet. It's not on this planet. It must be on a moon or something. So we'll check out these ley lines next time. Uh, we've got a fair way into the quest and uh, things are taking a turn for the interesting. We're actually investigating how the Sentinels move between worlds, apparently. We're going to unlock the secrets of the uh, annoying little drones. So, we'll continue down that track next time. In the meantime, I've been Eki Thump. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more of this game. And I will see you next time.